Well howdy folks, the review you're, you've always been waiting for is finally here. This is Zombies 11 Death Inc. This is the newest one from Twilight Creations. Uh, it does have a preset board right here. The object of the game is to rescue CEOs and get them out of the building. Uh, oops, that's not preset there. Uh, <clears throat> how it works is you do have shotgun guys just as usual. They give you six so shotgun guys, two die, and a lot of zombie workers. Now what the zombie worker looks like, he's got his entrails falling out, he's got his little hand there. Uh, you know, just basically, nothing special about the zombie worker. It's a four, five, or six to kill him, and they only move one space at a time, so same rules apply there. How it works, though, is every time you draw a tile, you match the door with the doors surrounding the area. Now, there are two middle spaces. You can put the door anywhere to match up with the other door, but that would mean the other two doors, you cannot enter or exit the building through that. Only the two doors that match is where you can come in and come out. So as you're playing the game, you're randomly throwing the tiles around here and there. When you place a tile, though, the first thing you need to do is roll both die. When you roll both die, the red indicates how many zombies you're going to put in that room. So in this case, I would put six zombie workers. The blue indicates how many tokens I'm going to put in there. Well, right now it's only one. What token would I put in there? Well, it's up to you. If you want to put a heart or bullet token in there, it's up to you. it's up to the roller. The game keeps going until you've placed all the rooms all around the board. Now, that can be randomly, like I said. It can be in the middle or over to the sides there. As you're playing, of course, you're going to fight through some zombies. And the point is to save directors. What are directors? Well, these are the board of directors here. There are these little chips here. And what you do is when you see a director's office like so, you know, put them at their desk. And the point is to bring the little shotgun guy in there, rescue a director, bring them back out to the elevator. Once they do that, this director counts as saved. Now if the shotgun guy dies while he's trying to save a director, the director will go back into the nearest office that's not already um, uh, inhabited by a director. So if it's an empty office, they would go back there and the game would go over. Of course, this person would die, restart over three hearts, three bullets, same rules apply, half their zombies rounded up. The game ends when people uh, have collected all the directors, then you add up. Whoever has the most directors saved wins. Now, there's other ways to score points, and one would be in the CEO's office. This is the zombie CEO. Kind of looks like Boss Hog a little bit, doesn't he? Anyway, this guy will go in here. Now you don't want to mess with the zombie CEO. He's the hardest character to kill. He is a nine to kill. And if he, if he hurts you, it counts as three hearts, not one. So, wow. Uh, one of the good things you do is every time you save a director, you get to pick from a separate da deck of cards called Pull the Strings, Pull Some Strings Cards. Now, these cards I'll go over later in another review, but they basically give you special powers uh, that you can use during the game. These do not count as cards added to your hand. So you can have as many of these as you have saved directors, and then up to three cards here. So it doesn't count. These also don't count as played cards. If you play it, you can still play a card from your hand. And these are really powerful and awesome cards and fun cards too. Like I said, we'll go over later that and the rest of the cards as well. But anyway, we have played this a few times already, and so far it is a huge hit. They love the setup and everything, and like I told you a few weeks ago, I've even found a way to include this into this year's Zombageddon board game. But that's all I have for now. Uh, please check back with us, because we will have the card review coming up soon. See ya.